What up guys, thank you for tuning in to another installment of Chopsticks and Forks. My name is Kevin. My name is Ryan. And today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to throw all the regular stuff out the window. And this episode is going to be all cultural. So we decided, why not try some Nigerian cuisine? That's right. So now you guys may think of Nigeria as just being another place in Africa. But really, Nigeria is one of the most rising most powerful countries in Africa. So, That's true. So we figured we'll just experience their cuisine and try it out for ourselves. So stay tuned. I'm sure you're going to like it. inside it's a really cool ambiance it's african art everywhere a traditional nigerian attire like you know hanging on the walls also there's actually a, a van where you can actually reserve um dining seating well i'm gonna actually show you that also so let's um take a look together natural drink from Nigeria so when we're having weddings you know um, those traditional celebrations palm wine is usually there and let's see what it's all about very refreshing it's actually you can barely actually taste the alcohol it just tastes like I could imagine being in the Caribbean islands just like having cool beverage right there, it's just like sipping and enjoying like sunbathing. And I ordered an Ifo, which is balled up spinach and fish in it. And the red sauce is actually called stew, and I actually got goat meat. And on the side, um, the white looking bun thing is actually called fufu. The reason why I got it actually is because I heard everybody raves about fufu, and that's the most traditional thing that, in my opinion, that people usually eat or, or rave about. So I personally wanted to try it out myself. So I'm gonna take my first bite. So the fufu actually reminds me of, um, well, Chinese people should know is cha si bao, which is a, a steamed bun, which is basically looks similar to this inside is like uh, meat in it um, but it's the same tech like it's very similar texture but just softer all the flavors just come magnificently together so for appetizer i ordered a tiger shrimp Like the reason why I ordered the tiger shrimp is because I'm used to people, you know, getting regular shrimp or 
shrimp scampi or some other kind of shrimp. But I said, you know what? I want to see how Nigerians do shrimp. So let's uh, try this bad boy out, shall we? Dip it in the little brown sugar they got right there. Oh, wow. So the one thing that uh, jumps out is the flavor. And they use very different spices. You can tell that these are spices that are unique to Nigeria because you definitely can't buy these spices at Pathmark or Shopping Center. I guarantee you that. All right, so when it came down to ordering my entree, I mean, I'm thinking goat meat plus different kind of fish. Yeah, sign me up for that. The reason being is because you don't usually mix those two together. And if I'm gonna truly embrace the Nigerian culture, I gotta hop on a plane, grab a plate, and make it happen. And afterwards, I'm gonna go to Wakanda for me and Black Panther to hold it down. You feel me? So I ask you, as both warrior and king, how long do you think you can keep your fufu safe from me? to give this good old fufu a try. some dessert so so we thought why not pass by the spot that does homemade pop tarts or whatever desserts it's called Hail Mary so uh, follow me we're gonna go inside and see what it looks like custom-made sodas. This is a vanilla, vanilla soda. I'm gonna give it a try right now. Wow, it's kind of tangy. It tastes, more, it tastes like you mix like three different sodas together, but I like it. So I got the um, a root beer float with sage chip, which is mint chocolate chip. It's like foaming to the side right now. And it's a classic to me, so I just want to see what separates itself from every other um, root beer float. You can't really beat the classic, I mean, it's basically root beer. Or ice cream on top. I'm pretty sure it's um, actually homemade um, root beer too. Right here, as you can see, this is a uh, blueberry rose. Um, this is a homemade pop tart. That's what the um, the specialty is or specialized. So I'm gonna have my first bite. Wow. This is not your ordinary um, pop tart right here. As you bite into it, it's so soft. You know how like how. When you go like buy pop tarts from your local food store, straight up from like a cardboard box, this is nothing like this. This is like soft. You can taste the, the blueberries. It's like, man, this is so damn good. Mm. All 
Alright ladies and gents, time for me to try this uh we got the brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. Let's give this a try. It's sweet and it's soft and it has really good texture. This is way better than that box stuff. That's for damn sure. The first restaurant we actually went to was called Buka. It's an authentic Nigerian restaurant. And I personally give it a 5 out of 5 because of the atmosphere. The atmosphere was amazing. Once you walk inside, you actually have a, a reserved dining seating area which you uh, inside a bus. Uh, which you can actually open up and then pretend like you're a bus driver, which I've done. Hello, Asian bus driver. Crash your car. I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. But anyways, besides that, the food was really amazing. That was the first time I actually tried Fufu. And the service was great. And we actually met the owner. So big shout out to also the bar bartender slash um, waitress that we had, um, BC and uh, Lukman which is actually the owner. The second spot we actually went to was called um, Hail Mary. Well, they specialize in homemade Pop-Tarts, and that was the reason, main reason why I actually went, but the first thing I actually had was a float. Honestly, I didn't personally enjoy the float in the beginning, but as I slowly like started um, drinking and sipping it with the sage chip, it got a little bit better, and I liked the presentation of it because it was foaming down the side. Um, the Pop-Tart itself, it was like, like real authentic, like you know, straight out from like an organic Whole Foods blueberries mashed up in there with sprinkles on top. It was really good. Honestly, personally, I give it a four out of five mainly because it could have been a five out of five, but it's just mainly because of the float. Maybe I'm just not used to the homemade taste of a root beer. But that's that's it, guys. Stay tuned for next time. Today, yet another amazing day in New York City. Um, today we went to Buka. Uh, African cuisine, more notably Nigerian cuisine. Um, just to give a brief synopsis, uh, the food was amazing. Uh, I never had food food before, and I think it was absolutely fantastic. We had a whole bunch of different kind of meats in there, so everything about Buka was just amazing. Uh, secondly, we went, we came to Greenpoint, Brooklyn, to have dessert at Hail Mary, and we wanted to try out their famous. Uh, their famous pop tarts, homemade pop tarts, and uh, I have to say that the pop tarts were great. It was better than anything I've ever had from a box. It was definitely fresh, homemade, soft. It was delicious. I'm definitely giving Buka a five out of five forks. Definitely a five out of five forks. It was a great, authentic experience. Um, I'm also going to give Hail Mary a five out of five forks, pretty much because the whole aura of the place. Um, Desiree, our waitress, she was amazing. So it was definitely something worth going to. Definitely worth the travel. But that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment below.